parallel LC circuit or rejector circuit. Consider an LC circuit. Along with inductor, there is a resistance R. Let us consider an AC source connected across an inductor in parallel with capacitor C. The resistance in series with the inductor is R. Let the instantaneous value of potential be V and corresponding current will be I. The current through the inductance is IL and the current through the capacitor is IC. These current IL and IC will be almost in the opposite phase if R is very very small. The total current will be I is equal to IL plus IC. This current will split up here. IL plus IC. So V by Z if I consider it will be equal to V divided by R resistance plus J omega L and this will be 1 by J omega C. So we can calculate the value of admittance or 1 by Z from here. Let us consider an AC source is connected across an inductance L in parallel with C. Instantaneous potential is V. So corresponding current I will become equal to IL across inductor and IC across the capacitor. They are almost in the opposite direction because R is very small. This is V. This current through the resistor is very small. This side is IL. This is suppose IC. The total current I is equal to IL plus IC. We can write V by Z. That is the total current. Is V divided by IL. IL we can write including the resistance as R plus J. J is the operator. Omega L plus V divided by here capacitance 1 by J operator omega C. 1 by impedance Z is the impedance will be equal to 1 by R plus J omega L plus of this we can take about J omega C. So admittance A will be equal to A is equal to 1 by Z. It can be written as R minus J omega L multiplying and dividing by this factor divided by R plus J omega L into R minus J omega L plus this J omega C. This factor can be written as R minus J omega L divided by A plus B into A minus B. We can write this one as R square plus omega square L square plus J omega C. So taking LCM, admittance A will be equal to R plus taking J common we have omega C R square plus omega cube L square C minus omega L whole divided by all J terms are put together. R square plus omega square L square. The magnitude of the admittance will be A is equal to 1 by Z is equal to under root of these two components square of this. So R square plus omega C R square plus omega cube L square C minus omega L whole square divided by R square plus omega square L square. This will be the total admittance. For resonance I will be in phase with V. If J of A becomes equal to 0 then this component here should be equal to 0. For resonance I will be in phase with the capital V. If J component of A becomes 0. That means this component should become equal to 0. Or we can write omega C R square plus omega cube L square C minus omega L is equal to 0. Or omega is equal to omega naught. We can call this as resonant frequency. Is equal to under root of 1 by L C plus R square by L square. This is in the case of resonance. So a parallel LC circuit for resonance. So at resonance remember the impedance across this will be maximum and it is called the dynamic resistance which we can substitute at resonance Z will be maximum. So Z is maximum Z can be written as R square plus omega square L square by R. This is also called dynamic resistance. So Z will be equal to R square plus omega. Omega is equal to omega naught we have taken. That is L square 1 by LC minus R square by L square. This is omega square value divided by R. Since we know that omega is equal to omega naught for resonance condition. It is equal to under root of 1 by LC minus R square plus L square. So in place of omega square I substituted this value 1 by LC minus R square by L square. For getting the dynamic resistance. What we will get Z from here? Z will be equal to 
L square taking inside L by C minus R square by L divided by R. So this will be L by C R. This is the resonant frequency condition for parallel resonance. R will be less than root of L by C. So we can substitute get the value of peak current at resonance. The peak current from supply is known as makeup current which is I is equal to V naught by Z that is V naught divided by L by C R. So I will be equal to C R V naught divided by L. For value of L C R and omega satisfying the equation omega is equal to under root of 1 by L C minus R square by L square the reactive component of A is real. At such maximum impedance the current in the circuit is minimum. Thus parallel circuit does not allow this frequency from the source to pass through the circuit. Due to this reason the circuit with such a frequency is known as rejector circuit for the values of L, C, R and omega. Satisfying the equation omega is equal to we have taken under root of 1 by L, C minus R square by L square. The reactive component of A is real. The reactive component of capital A is real. At such a maximum impedance, the current in the circuit becomes minimum. At such a maximum impedance, the current in the circuit is minimum. Thus, the parallel circuit does not allow this frequency from the source to pass through the circuit. Due to this reason, the circuit with such a frequency is known as rejector circuit. With such a frequency known as a rejector circuit. If the inductance has no resistance. So here if we consider as 0. Then IL, IC and IR. Here we can consider I is equal to 0. So IR is 0. So only inductor and XL and XC will be there. If R is equal to 0. Then circuit becomes parallel LC circuit. So we have only resistance inductance here and voltage is connected across it. So what will be the condition of resonance when IL becomes equal to IC? Condition of resonance. Here IC is equal to IL or V by XC is equal to V by XL which implies that XC should be equal to XL. Capacitive reactance and capacitive inductance should be same. At resonance current I in the circuit is equal to 0 and the impedance is infinity. Resonant frequency will be U0 is 1 by 2 pi root LC. So at resonance current I in the circuit is 0 and impedance is infinite. What will be resonant frequency? Resonant frequency will be U0 will be equal to 1 by 2 pi root LC.